In this video, we're going to look at the power of private notes. So here I have a couple of private notes already populated and by default, when you come in here, you'll only see the ones that need a reply. So come in and choose which ones you wanna see. Right now, I'm gonna show you all the ones I have so we can look at all the different types of examples. You can also specify by page or post that has a private note on it. And you can also change the ranking of all of these and you can also search. So here you can see the more fun challenge day three. So if I click on this, it will open my post so I can edit or change the items on that page. You can also see that I could have more than one note per page. And this is the name of the person who is in this private note. And then this is their icon and this is my icon. And so when you come in here, you can see a couple of different options. So for example, this one is a closed private note, so I don't need to respond to it. This is one where I had to approve before something happens. So for example, like before it checks off an objective for this person. And then this one is one that has not been replied to yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can reply. And when I start typing here, I can do some nice little styling in here and I can apply, but not approve. So that means I'm just giving them feedback, but their objective will not be completed or I can reply and approve. And what that means is they could necessarily move on to the next item or whatever it was. I can also approve without replying if there's nothing for me to say, if it's just, you know, assume that they're they're good to go now before you can have private notes you need to add them to a page so here i am in the gutenberg block editor um, but what i'm going to do is scroll down here to the progress la page settings and under private notes you can see i have one created but we can go ahead and create a new one and you'll see we have a couple of different options so first we can name your private note this is a great place to put a question or a prompt and then you can also put placeholder text. And you have a couple of different options. They can be completely private. You can also have a user specific question and answer. This is awesome if you wanna have a back and forth. So this is just one back and forth. You can also have some a page where you start off the conversation. So they, in this example, cannot respond. And then you can also have something where you will then be able to review. And once it's reviewed, then you can have them added here in an objective. So I could go ahead and do a, um, a note objective, and then I would choose this note. And so it says, submit your homework assignment. And then once this note is approved, then um, this item will be checked off for them. So that is how you set up a couple of different types of private notes. Now, the last one is custom, which is, I think the most powerful one. So you can make it an admin initiated one. You can also change the number of responses. So this is great. If you want to have unlimited back and forth, you just leave it as minus one. You can also notify whenever there's a response. Um, so you can also remove that. If you don't want people to get emails, you can also customize the email that people will get. Once you've created your note, you need to also add it to the page so that members can come in and see it. So like I said, I'm in the Gutenberg block editor. So if I come in here and I choose progress ally, I'll be able to choose my private note in here. So if I choose private note, I will see my private note and I can choose private note number two. So I will go ahead and update that. And this is what my private note looks like. What feedback do you have about this topic? Click here to enter your note. People can come in and ask a question or share their feedback, hit save, and that will be saved back to your membership site. If you're not using Gutenberg, you can always go up here in the top bar, choose the short code generator for Access Ally, and then go ahead and choose private note, and then search for the page or post that you have a private note on, and then find the private note, or just use the current post, generate the short code, and then instead of the note ID null, put in the number of the note that you are using, and then you can copy this and paste it into any page. What I've shown you is responding to private notes, but for those admin initiated notes, you first have to create it on the page, create your private note. And then when you come in here, you can look at the different people inside of your membership site and send them a note. And what it will do is it will allow you to post something that only this person will see when they go to this page. So this is a great way to do customized dashboards and customized areas for people. And it's a great way to post like a call recording or a private video or something that you've done just for one person. You can just start them right here. So this is how you create all kinds of different uh, notes and how you link them into progress ally into the objective area and then also how you review them and respond to them.